Patrick Henry refuses to participate, saying he smells a rat. <laughs> Rhode Island isn't coming at all. We should call it Rogue Island. Take it out of the Union and divide the land among the states that are patriots. We are well-bred, well-read, well-fed, and well-wed. We are the toast of Philadelphia. Or we'll toast in Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Set the table for a new day. Give each man a quill and ink. Is it treason to change the reason we sing a different song? We were commissioned for one mission. Are we right or are we wrong? I propose we have a king to rule the states over everything. One man who serves till his life ends. That man sits here, George Washington. Large states will have too much power. Size matters in voting hours. For small state numbers to increase, please count the slaves to keep the peace. But slaves, dear sir, are property. If you count slaves, oh, let it be. Then we'll count horses, so you'll see. There still will be no equity. Yeah. <laughs> Who will vote to give Congress voice? Men of property are my choice. To vote, hold office in this land, a hundred thousand dollars in his hand. If in office public trust he breaches, know that reps have the right to impeach him. When oath of office the president betrays, Congress must send him on his way. <laughs> we the people, we the people, we the people. Men from 12 states have been irate with reason, research and rousing debate. Drunk debate in my case. <laughs> this constitution, what will be its fate in 13 legislatures in 13 states? <laughs> <laughs> I have sat in this chair since May, contemplating the sun on the chair of General Washington. It is a rising sun or a setting sun. Until now, I could not say. But upon this day, at length, I have the happiness to know that it is a rising sun. We are mere men with parchment, pen. In our words and deeds, we are flawed. We're not God. What will be our legacy? 